and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher tonight, Zach Wheeler. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. Here's the second baseman, Leading number 19. Pittsburgh, the second baseman, Jared Triolo. The wind of the pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. Underway oh here God. at Citizens Bank Park. And the righty deals. Late with the swing there. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Harper makes a nice running catch. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. One out, base is empty. That's a little bit low. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. It misses. It's a strikeout. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make that their hurt. outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs 13. take a toll on a pitcher as the game Ryan goes on. Hayes. At the play, Key Brian Hayes. Just oh. missed. And a foul ball. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And a count one, one and two. Two strikes. Just missed. Swing and a base hit. And that extends the inning. That includes the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. Jack Sawinski now at the plate. Right through there for a strike. 0-1. Hayes, the runner at first with two gone. On, 
Lifted in the air right center field. Rojas makes the play and that is that. Pirates leave one and now it's the Phillies turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Citizens Bank Park and starting this one Roansi Contreras. What do we need to know here about the right hander. Well they're going with the opener in this one so this is an interesting look he's probably only going to pitch in any maybe two at the most and it's going to be unconventional. I think he's going to pitch backwards more off speed and then here fastballs late the bottom Phillies. of the first the Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Schwarber. The wind in the pitch. Whoa. And that's downstairs and outside. And the 1 0. That one hit the knees for a strike. And oh. another ball. Fouls one off. Two and two. That's hard hit in the line. Olivares makes the catch, and there's one gone. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Here's Trey Turner. And yeah, that's a little bit ball. high. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Kicks and deals. Hey. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Just missed. It's a good take. And now delivers outside. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Good that pitch, slider down and away, well, just stayed good. down and threw it nicely. Such an easy pitch to pull off of because you're probably thinking fastball down the middle initially. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Bryce Harper. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Man at first, one away. Pickoff throw, no, and Turner's great. back in. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. Left hand batter waits. Runner hey. on the goal. And that's a stolen base, not even close. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one, so that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. Man at second. Left field, way back there. That's back. And caught on the warning track. Batting four, the catcher, J.T. 
Real Muto. And now it is JT Real Muto. That yep, misses the zone. Out. One and oh. And nope, downstairs. And the slider just misses. Alec Bohm on deck for the Phils. Runner at second, two down. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Righty to the plate. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Olivares pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. Philly strand one, scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Edward Olivares. Olivares. The pitch. That oh. one misses, and it's one to know. Let's go, Phillies. There's the strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. The one to one. And he lays down a bunt. Boom. Now the throw to first on the run. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Here's Rowdy Telez. That one nope. a little bit high, and that's ball one. through there for a strike cold night tonight boog and that's a pretty firm fastball right there I tell you what memories of getting jam they are creeping into my mind right now no score here in the second so a foul ball makes it one and two well, it's a really good pass of the ball right there just a little bit too quick it's got to find a way just to let it travel a hair more Struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And now Michael A. Taylor. And a base hit right there. And that keeps the inning alive. He was all over that one. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Digging in, Henry Davis. Run around the move. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly and a strike down to second base to end the inning. And we're back. Leo, bottom of the inning. The and now for the Phillies, the Alec Bohm. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Pitch oh, misses. Good. And that's ball one. And that one is lifted in the air. Olivares flashes the leather on the running catch. Batting six. The second baseman. This is Bryson Stott. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. 
Slider misses outside. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, one, one. automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Next offering is in for a strike. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Got him looking. That's the second out. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Now, one out to right. Olivares makes the catch in and over. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in we Philadelphia, new inning getting started. And now here is Henry Davis. The right-hander back to work. That one's in there. 0-1. And nope. ball one. I got a ball one strike. Right. right through there for a strike. Whoa. Next pitch is outside. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And the batter now, Alika Williams. All ones the count. One down, base is empty. Nope, outside. Fought off foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Top of the third, no score. The shortstop <laughs> takes a ball. Swinging. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Now it's the second baseman. He's 0 for 1. Line drive, base hit. And Brian Reynolds with a chance to make an impact with two away. The batter, number 10. Brian Reynolds here. Brian Struck out swinging Reynolds. his first time. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. 
Reynolds goes six feet three inches batting second in today's lineup and though usually in left field today he's the designated hitter. And a pitch. Two outs. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One hit, one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. here in Philadelphia set for the bottom of the third Brandon Marsh steps to the plate Contreras back to work that one pulled foul pitches in the dirt and the count is one and one On the ground to third, Hayes. On to first, one up, one down. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier Not enough. Enough. Got out in front a little bit, Not rolled enough. over on it, and beat it into the ground. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. Pitch ball misses, one. and that is ball, ball one. one. No And here it comes. There's a swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Bounce to the right. Fires over to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. The bat, the left fielder, Kyle. So the lineup flips over. Stepping in the long ball threat, Kyle Schwarber. 0 for 1 so far. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum one. going. Next pitch misses. Going to count one and two. Two out spaces empty. And down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. On to inning number four. No score. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Key Brian Hayes. The pitch. That well, one off the mark, ball one. You know, these Pirates, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, well, and those good. chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And a foul ball. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now that left here. Jack Sawinski. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. 
0 for 1 with a fly out to center. One down, base is empty. Ball and there's one. a ball. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Edward Olivares. He's 0 for 1. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. That one laced to center and a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Next to hit, Rowdy Telez. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And now the 0 1. Foul ball there. Fourth inning underway, no score. Ball one, one ball. there. Two strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. And midway in the fourth, we're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back at Citizens Bank go. Park, bottom Philly. four. So digging in Not now for stop. Philadelphia, Trey Turner. Turner. Contreras back to work. That That's one close, ruled a ball. Ball one. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one for strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Got him. What a way. Beat him inside on that last pitch, and when you look back at the pitch sequence on that strikeout, it's pretty interesting. Away, in, away, and then back in again. Really commanded both sides of the plate right there, and that makes it pretty tough to get comfortable in the box. Bryce Harper to the plate. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. Right hander kicks deals. And there's a foul ball. This one in the air. 
on his way over. He's got it two away down. Now batting catcher JT Real Muto. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Hit hard, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. The third baseman. Down the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The 0 1. There's a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Makes the sliding stop. Gathers and throws. And that's a nice play to end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We played four. No score. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Here comes a pitch. And that's in the dirt. And that's ball one. You know, these Pirates just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a hey. bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. A little out front there as he swings through it. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his... Oh, now this is blasted! Way back there, on its way! Gone! A gigantic blast. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. That one just sounded different. Man, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one fouled off. The 0 2. Hit on the ground to the that right ball, side. Man. And that's just foul. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. The pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Sizes this one up. Hits it away for the out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Alika Williams, the next Pirate to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. He swings and fouls one off. Booga never got to play at Citizens Bank Park in my career. Just the old veteran stadium in Philadelphia, but... The crowds here are just as energetic now as they were at that old park. And trust me, as an outfielder one visiting ball, town, break. you're going to hear it from the fans out there in the bleachers. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. <laughs> one.
One down, base is empty. That That's one missed. Good. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He's there. He's got it. Two away. That hanging breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter, and nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. And now the Pirates lead off, man. One for two. Ball one, no strikes. And a good eye there. That one misses, and it's 3 0. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. There's the strike. Two outs. Down the line. And a foul ball. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Reynolds up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. And he deals. And it's fouled away. On, Wheeler with a throw over. Now they got him, and that will end the inning. Cannonball coming. It's now 1 0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Phillies, Bryson Stock. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And fouled off. Here's your one. Fouled off. He was late. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. That gets down for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. And now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Hard liner. And there's one down. Now have the designated hitter, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. Grounded out his first time up. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And that one fouled off.
Contreras kicks oh, over. Okay. Stop. Back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And that one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. At the belt and fires. One That's ball, inside. Two strikes. And a pitch. That two one ball, not close. Two ball two. Go well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory get yourself in the scoring position runner on the go again outside and that is ball four he's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this but he's gonna have to buckle down right here Johan Rojas Stands in for the Phillies. First pitch misses. Way to lay off that pitch down. Next offering upstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, one out. That clips the zone. Two and one now. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. On the ground, the third might be two. There's one. Yes, Throw out. to first, but he beat it. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they have runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. And here is Kyle Schwarber. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. On two outs. Well, one ball, two strikes, the count. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Stop on third. Rojas on at first with two down. Rip to short. And that is the inning. Phillies leave a couple. They're down one nothing. Top six, and five. here is Brian Reynolds. Brian Reynolds. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Rojas calls it in, and there's one away. The Key Brian Hayes, the next pirate to hit. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. A little oh. bit high, and it's one to no. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Come on, one down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. 
So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things That's I think three. about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. The line of the pitch. Three. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's out number two. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. Jack Sawinski. That one finds the zone. Going one. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Swing and a pop-up. Turner should have it. Brings it in for the third out. So they go quietly there. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Pirates one and the Phillies nothing. And we're back. Lead Bottom of the six. The Trey Turner now. Hawaiian in the pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. And here's the first baseman, Bryce Harper. Fought off foul. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Breaking ball inside. And it's one and one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Man at second. Two balls, one strike. And fouled off. With the go-ahead run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Line drive. That's a fair ball inside third. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and the Phillies tie the game. It's 1-1. One -one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. No outs, runner at first. And here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. On the inside corner for a strike. Contreras over to first. Harper's back in a dive. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Bullpen action for the Pirates. Jared Jones loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Hernandez warming up as well. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. Nobody out. Runner at first.
Fouls it off. Still one and two. And the right-hander deals. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate. And people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Now, Alec Bohm. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's 2-0. Oh. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. That ball one three. misses. And that's ball three. Bryson stop. Next to bat for Philadelphia. And a pitch. That one's in there. And the count is three and one. Calling this count runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Pickoff move to first. Oh, Harper's it. back on a dive. So a substitution needed at first because of the injury. Pinch running here. Whit Merrifield. And here it comes. Rip to third. Throw is low and he can't pick it. Well, it could be tough to get a good grip on the baseball when it's cold outside and that's definitely the case right now here in the ballpark it could have been something else but I definitely know that feeling when your fingertips are numb and you really can't feel the baseball and digging in for Philadelphia Bryson stop swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two on, one out. That one the other way. And that gets down for a base hit. In comes the run from second. It's 2-1. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Roansi Contreras won't go any further tonight. And the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Jared Jones into the game. This is his third time out this year. Now it's the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Hey. And a swing and a miss there. 0 and 1. Right handed reliever swings hey. through that one. No ball, two strikes. One out. Runners at first and second. Oh, that hit him. And they get the out after the ricochet. The comebacker got him down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. 
Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, dude. So here's the Phillies DH, Brandon Marsh. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that one fouled off. Two outs on a line. And it's gone. Home run. He'll take the trot around the bases. His fourth home run of the season. And they boost their lead. It's 6-1. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. That might be the toughest pitch to hit a home run on. Same side thrower as the hitter, inside part of the plate, that front door breaking ball, it'll make you flinch a lot of times. So to stay in there and get through it the way he did, an incredible piece of hitting. Rojas, the next to hit, takes ball one. to the mound into the outfield base hit so the two out knock extends the inning and sends them back to the top of the order the batter. really nice job no staying fielder. up the middle with his approach Mario. he didn't try to do too much with the pitch Mario. just shot it through the infield and here's the Phillies leadoff man Kyle Schwarber and first offering is fouled off Righty to the plate. Sliced hard but foul. And that one in the air center field. Taylor makes the play, and that ends the inning. But not before five cross the plate, with a big blow being this three-run homer. It's now 5-1. So coming into the game now on defense, Whit Merrifield. He takes over as the new first baseman. So digging in, Edward Olivares. The right fielder. The Pirates Edward in striking distance, Olivares. but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And first offering is fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next oh, pitch is outside. outside. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. In the air, left field. Schwarber settles under it. Makes the grab, one down. The first baseman, number 44. At the plate for Rowdy. Pittsburgh, Rowdy Telez. That one finds the zone. Strike one. If you're not ready for that pitch, you're just going to swing and miss or pop it up, waste the at bat. If you're going to let it go, you better be ready to swing it. Eight. Swings and misses. And it's 0 and 2. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. The next Whoa, pitch misses. Right now 1 and 2.
The Phils leading by four here in the top half of inning number seven. And another ball. Ground ball up the middle. Over to Merrifield. And there's two away. Up next for the Pirates, the center fielder. Up next for the Michael Pirates, a. Michael A. Taylor. He's already homered in this game. And he takes a strike. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. fly ball out towards left field that's back there that's long gone another homer his second home run of the game and they cut into the deficit it's 5 2 Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Two outs, nobody on. Henry Davis, the next to hit. Out to short. Turner with the throw to first. And that will end the inning. But the Bucks get one back in the solo home run. It's 5-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the shortstop, Trey Turner. The pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Well, one these Phillies down. doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly. Dives, and it gets by. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now there are several ways that they can get this run across. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Swing and a miss. Strike one. 0 oh 1. Man at second. And a foul ball. The pitch just Whoa, misses with that one. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. Kicks and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And the righty deals. Right side. And a base hit. Fires it to the plate. Tag. Too late. He scores. And they're up by four. Well done. Drives in the run. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there. And he found a way. JT Real Muto steps in. And the oh, first pitch misses for ball one. One run across in the frame so far. Here at the bottom of the seven. Over no, to first he and he saved. Hey, 
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Merrifield around second, headed for third. Coming home. He'll score easily. It's 7-2. to two. Comes through with the RBI. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. A new arm into the game, the righty, David Bednar. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So, man aboard, Alec Bohm getting ready to hit. Swings through that one out in front that time. Oh, one's the count. And it's even up. I got a ball, one strike. Come on, Phillies. Good ball, eye right there. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Come on, on its way to the corner. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Right-hander kicks, deals. Three, two. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. Real Muto leads off second with nobody out. In the air out to center. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. The batter, number five, second baseman, Bryson. Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Flips the corner. It's 0 and 1. Left hand batter waits. Nope. Just oh. missed. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. This is outside, and that's ball two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And that's off the inside edge. And it's three and two. Runner on at third, one gone. This one in the air. Williams moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Out. Number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. Foul ball. Two outs. That's one off one. the mark. One and one. And a pitch. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. Rudder at third, two away. Fights that one away, still one and two. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. This one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. And he deals. He goes down looking. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies 7 and the Pirates 2. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Junior Marte. He last pitched two days ago. Now it's the shortstop, Alika Williams. The shortstop. Alika Williams. Let's go, Phillies. The why to kick the pitch. Right ah. through there for a strike. Hey. Comes up empty. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one down. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Number 19 ah. in the box now. No balls oh, and a one. strike. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen. Jeff Hoffman getting loose out there. And the pitch. Just missed. Down. Up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The batter, number 10. To the plate now for Pittsburgh Brian is the DH, Brian Reynolds. Reynolds. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. This is off the plate. 1 and 0. At the belt and fires. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Nabs it. The third baseman, number 13, Key Brian Hayes. Man at first. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Key Brian Hayes. One for three. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. The Phillies leading by five, and we're in the top of the eighth. Fly ball down the line, and that's a foul ball. Let's go, Phillies. Come on. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. So one left for Pittsburgh. They're down five. It's seven to two. Bottom of the eighth, and now the DH, Brandon Marsh. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And there's a strike. All one's the count.
popped up first base side. Olivares sizing it up. Calls it in, and there's one away. Now the center fielder. And now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. That one missing inside. And that's in the dirt. Two and out. And a big swing and a miss. Two one. Out to short. Zips it to He's first. Out. That's it out. Now batting left fielder Kyle. So the batting order turns over and now for the Phillies Kyle Schwarber. And that's in there for strike one. Oh and one. Two down, nobody on. And that one pulled foul. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Left hand hitter waits. Oh, that fastball drilled him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Trey Turner with a chance now. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Schwarber, round second on his way to third. And he's got to double his fourth hit. Cut off, now a throw home. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Textbook defensive execution right there. Outfielder hits the cutoff relay throw to the plate. A perfect strike and a great way to end the inning. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Gregory Soto. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Sawinski, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Soto, in his fifth season, he features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. And now the lefty, and there's a foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball there. Foul ball still a one and two count. That one two. just misses. Two balls, two strikes. To the right side. Merrifield oh. takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Now that the right fielder, Edward Olivares. Edward Olivares, the next pirate to hit. And ball one to the right fielder. 
The Phils leading by five here in the top of the ninth. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The pitch. And another ball. That one fouled off. That misses. Full count now. Out to short, Turner. And the Pirates with only one out left. The first baseman, number 44, Rowdy. Rowdy Telez, the next Pirate to hit. Swings through that. All ones the count. Soto is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. Wheeler with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.